Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to week freaking 35, first week of Rank Advancement Month, I believe. All right, welcome to my Wednesday message. I hope you guys are following me on my Instagram live every Sunday and just watching out for stuff I put on Instagram. I hope you guys have subscribed for my YouTube channel, which is lacking videos, you know, Irish, Claire, Laureen, we gotta figure things out. Record me walking down the street, whatever it takes. But guys, welcome to my Wednesday message, which I hope you're sending out to your organization as part of your system, so they get to see this gorgeous face. One of the best students of Japa in Dato Sri Vijay, so I can share a little bit of my experience of 24 years, all right? As your upline, as your chief, representing the great ones, Japadas Bismarck and the one and only Dato Sri Vijay Ishwan. All right, Vicon tickets sold out. Everyone calling me for tickets. It's not that we don't want to sell more tickets. It's an indoor stadium with limited number of seats. All right, first come, first serve. Okay, but don't worry. We're going to do more and more VCONs uh, every year so we can cater to the demand of people wanting to come and experience that click, experience that magic. But I promise you, this VCON, October 7 to October 11, I've been non-stop meetings. It is going to, boom, blow your mind. Okay, guys? All right. Once again, today or yesterday, it's four in the morning now, but yesterday had the opportunity to speak to Datu Sri Vijay. All right. And speaking to him means learning something. I always program my mind to empty my cup instantly when I see his name on the mobile phone ringing. All right. Because I know that this is an opportunity for me to learn, to grow, at least to find out how I screwed up so I don't repeat that mistake again in whatever I'm handling for him and for the organization. And this week, I, I want to talk about something so important, all right? Okay, guys, it's four in the morning. I technically have not slept for 48 hours. I'm not kidding. Zero sleep, all right? My duties as a husband, as a father, as an upline, as chief has kept me awake. And I haven't stayed awake for 48 hours for a long time. I hope I still look good. I always do, okay? So, this week, it's very important that you guys listen to me, all right? No matter who you are, brand new sign up, been around for a long time, uh, just starting to take the business seriously, just started to earn some checks, uh, going through a crisis, all right? Checks drop, trying to rebuild, opening up new markets, staying put in one market, bad idea, all right? Spread your wings, born to fly, okay? Uh, Adli, Sati, wrapping up the born to fly world tour, and it's been unbelievable to see the social media pictures, to, to see the mavericks, you know, David Sharma, Adli, Sati, uh, Dave, Joel, Arun, George, do their magic, all right, for the Born to Fly World Tour. And this week, I want to talk about something important. Now, somewhere along the line, all right, there's been a misconception, a misunderstanding about this industry that this industry requires you to basically garner a lot of knowledge, have certain skill sets to succeed. And I remember Dato Sri Vijay telling me when I signed up and I told him, what do I need to succeed in this business? Because ultimately, every one of you, no matter who you are, all right, no matter whether you are first time dabbling in network marketing, whether you are made a serious decision, do or die, max out, whether you're struggling to make that decision, whether this is what you want to do, whether you are one of those people clouded by opinions of others and you are so insecure, so indecisive that you haven't decided to go, bang, I want to do this, all right? doesn't matter. Whoever you are, in whatever position you are mentally, emotionally, of doing this business, I need you to understand something. 
the message that Datu Sri gave me, and he was reminding me today, when I asked him, what do I need to succeed? He said, you already have it. I said, what? Yep. You were born to max out. All right. And when he made that statement, I thought he was doing one of these upline, you know, motivate Patman Senati Raja thing. But he meant it. He said, this is the only remaining concept of entrepreneurship where you have what it takes already. You were born with it. Trust me. All right. The biggest problem is, all right, you keep searching for answers. You, you, you keep searching for better ways of doing this business. You keep interviewing the success stories of, of QNet and ask them what did they do different, how they did it. No, they all did the same thing. All right? And you need to know this, that you already have what it takes to succeed in QNet. Right, the whole concept of network marketing, the whole concept in, of QNet was built on a simple freaking philosophy that a nobody can become a somebody, zero to hero, no prerequisites, and you can be a max out king or queen, regardless of your race, religion, creed, where you come from. Now, I know I'm making it sound very idealistic and and optimistic you mean chief i can be an absolute moron and succeed in network marketing yes you are looking at a moron with a dream but you see the biggest mistake that was vj reminded me that even though we all were born with what it takes to succeed in network marketing we don't know that we have forgotten that we have allowed the world to beat it out of us that we feel that we are inadequate. We feel that we are incapable. We feel that you need some magical powers, some special skill set to succeed and become a max out king and queen. And sometimes we edify, you know, the V partners, the AVPs, you know, all go on stage and you think they're supermen and superwomen, all right, that they were born with a network marketing DNA. No, they are not. They are just like you. I am like you. I am you. All right. I did not do anything extra. I did not do anything special to achieve the success that I've achieved today. I have what it takes. You were born with it. So let's do a checklist whether you were born with it. All right. Is every individual on this planet, all right, do they have the ability, the God-given right to dream whatever they want? Limitless. There is no limitation. There is no restriction on what you can dream. Dreaming is free. You can dream of being the richest man or woman on the planet. You can dream of being a rock star, Bollywood, Hollywood. You can dream of becoming, you know, the most famous uh, businessman or businesswoman on the planet. Dreaming has no limitation. And that applies to every single individual since they were born. And if you look back at your journey of childhood, every one of you, no matter who you are, you are a dreamer. You had big dreams. You had crazy dreams. You dream beyond your level. Even when it comes to dating a guy or a girl, you looked at things and you believed 100% that it's possible. You're dreamers. All of us are. All of us are. So the first ingredient to succeed in QNet is are you a dreamer? Were you born a dreamer? And the answer is yes. But the problem is that you were born a dreamer and somewhere along the line you stopped being a dreamer because reality hit you too hard. Your professors, your neighbors, your society, the media basically told you, stop dreaming, moron. Thank God you met us. Thank God you met Japa. Thank God you met Dato Sri Vijay. And they are saying, start dreaming again, moron. 
because you were born a dreamer. That's the first requisite. The second requisite, are you capable of doing whatever it takes if you want to? All right? Now, if you remember as a child when you wanted a toy and your mom or dad said, no, no toy, you were willing to do anything. Cry, scream, beg, work, right? clean your room, do your homework. You were willing. So you were born with this ability of doing whatever it takes if you want something bad enough. You don't have to learn this ability. Right? Arun, Adli, Sati, David didn't learn this. They are like you, with weaknesses and strength, but they were born with this ability that when push comes to shove, when there is a sense of urgency, they are capable of doing whatever it takes, whether it's climbing Mount Everest, whether it's doing 10 presentations a day, whether it is to handle a thousand rejections, whether it is to face relatives that laugh, whether it is to drive for 10 hours to do a presentation and nobody signs up and drive back 10 hours and find another presentation just to finish your rule 3, you can. So that's the second checklist. Are you capable of doing whatever it takes if you choose to, if you want to, if your sense of urgency is there, if your desire is strong enough, your dream is big enough? And the answer is yes, 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 yes. I was not a hardworking person. I was fundamentally lazy as a 22-year-old moron, all right? But when I found my dream and I fell in love with this industry, I suddenly became Superman. I worked so hard. My mother, God bless her soul, was so proud of me. My friends, my relatives say, oh my God, Patman, you're the hardest working person we know. But before that, I was just holding hands and singing Kumbaya, just like you. So do you pass the second checklist? Do you have what it takes? Are you willing to do whatever it takes? If you have a sense of urgency, if you want it bad enough, the answer is yes, you were born with this ability. And the third is the ability to fight for something that means the world to you. And you have started fighting from the day you were born. Whether it's for your pacifier, whether it's for the blue color or red color toy, right? You, every one of us pushed the other kid when we wanted the toy. I'm not endorsing violence, but I'm telling you we were born with this DNA to fight for what we believe in, fight for what we want so badly that we are willing to do whatever it takes. We were willing to fight our way through. That means, guys, we were all, we are all born as warriors. I know this. I've seen the quietest, the most meek person, right? Woman or whatever. And then you, you attack their child and they will become a warrior. And I've seen it. That we are all born warriors. We are all born warriors. And that's important. So you were born with this. As Datu Sri Vijay says, he asked me, Patman, have you ever fought for someone or something you believe in, regardless of the consequence of fighting? Whether you get in trouble with your principal or the police or whatever. I said, of course. That means, Patman, you were born a warrior. And somewhere along the line, the world, your experiences, sometimes the people closest to you turned you into a wimp. That's the mistake. So you are born a warrior. You were born a dreamer. You were born with the ability to do whatever it takes. You were born a warrior. And finally, finally, right? You are capable of having fun doing what you love to do. I could play hockey and football in the sun for hours. Right? I would do anything for the person I love. I was willing to do anything, all right, for my mom at any point, even until today. So you are capable of love, loving the people around you, loving what you do. That everyone is born capable of love. Even though you say, I hate all, all humans, you will love a hamster, all right? Everyone loves a puppy or a kitten or something or someone. 
we were born with this ability to love what we do, to love the people we care about, to love enough that willing to do whatever it takes. So that to see Vijay was right. You were born with all the ingredients to be a max out king or queen. So don't go looking for new ingredients. Reignite what you were born with. Remove all the bull sugar. Remove all the opinions. Erase all the unfounded fear. And be who you were born to be. A dreamer. Somebody is willing to pay the price. Anytime, any amount. Consistently. That you were born a warrior. That you would fight for anyone or anything if you believed in it enough. If you had a reason, a burning desire, a sense of urgency behind it. And finally, we are all capable of finding love in what we do. Finding love in the people around us. And I'm not only talking about the romantic love. It's like the love I have for Japa and Datu Sri Vijay. The love I have for this industry. The love I have for QNET, the V. The love I have for all of you, my downlines, the corporate warriors. Because you sprinkle love. Max out happens. Max out cannot happen without love. If you don't love what you do, if you don't love the people you work with, you can never max out. So guys, stop the search. Stop hunting. Stop stressing out at night, looking for the answer, scrolling through the internet. You are the answer. You were born, God-given, with all the ingredients to be the ultimate max out king or queen. Just apply it. Just be who you were born to be. Love you guys.